Hi, my name is Brian Clark of Computer File Software Solutions. Let me introduce you to our community version of the Permit to Work software. Its purpose is to provide engineers with a method to create safety documentation quickly, simply and inexpensively. On installation, all that's needed is a copy of the executable file, two database files, and its associated customizable Word templates. Run the software by double clicking on the safety documents exe. Accept any warnings uh, that we may get from Windows. Click on the accept button and we're ready to go. This software has been in continuous development by Computerfile with many engineers working in the power industry since 1995. A bespoke version has been in and is in use with over 20 power stations as a self-contained application. It has almost no installation requirements, requires no access to network or internet in order to operate, has no advertising or communication of any kind to external organizations it's totally secure with no gdpr issues login with a username of a and a password of a now let me demonstrate preparing a permit to work click on the permit to work button and the permit to work form appears Note that some of the fields are already pre-filled for you. For instance, the location and the uh, um, preparer. To populate the fields, uh, we can simply right click in each of the fields like so. And this will offer a list of common phrases um, for the appropriate field. And to put that in we can either select one and insert or we can just double click and that will appear in its field we can then put a comma and a space and then right click and add something else and if necessary we can continue by adding our own data as needed The same can be done in the description of work. Right click. This will then offer work phrases and we can double click to select the appropriate one. Below that we can select a contractor. And then via the checkboxes we can indicate the requirements that are needed. This version allows us to right click in the risk assessment and method statement reference and insert one from a list. Visiting the buttons on the left, we can see that we have a button to get our own pre-prepared saved template, um, a global saved template a template that's been saved that was created by an administrator or we can reprocess a permit that has already been processed but needs reprocessing by a different engineer and lastly in this area we can copy a previously produced permit to work associated with the general safety buttons we can save our own permit that we've just created as our own named template we can save it globally in which case anyone could access this template uh, we can save it as an admin template providing that we're on as an administrator and we are in this case and finally we save and commit the template ready to be um, approved by an SAP section 3 on the form is for the SAP um, to complete and he decides whether from the above information that's been given if the 
um, isolation is required on the system. If they're not required, then you select this button. It will produce a blue version of the permit to work uh, with no card safe key numbers, no procedures, etc. Um, all that we would do there is put any additional precautions in there. So I'll delete these old ones and add some another phrase. In the event that safety isolations are required, then he would select the yes button. This would produce a, a red or pink copy of the permit and he would, be need, he would be required to fill in these fields. Let's say that we were going to attach an isolation certificate. So you would click that, select from the previously prepared isolation certificates, add in the card safe number and the key number. And again, we're ready to go. If there's any other approved procedure or any other fields need to be filled in, they would need to be done now. Having completed all of the fields, we click on the button save and print. In this case, it will save it to a, a file so that I can demonstrate the result. The resultant permit then is provided. We can scroll down and see that all of the fields have been filled with the correct information and also there is a barcode at the bottom which will assist the document administration.